Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dragon Hill Games. Well, the moment has arrived. Time Spiral Remaster is here. This is a sponsored video, so I really did want to put a shout out there and say, th say thank you to Robert S for sponsoring this box. And everything that is in this box will be shipped to you, Robert S. So again, thanks so much for sponsoring this video. Of course, Time Spiral Remastered is not available and this will not be shipped to Robert until March 19th, 2021. These are some cool looking packs. We got some stuffy doll, I'm not sure what that is, some sort of angel. And then slivers are obviously back. All right, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna go through the first couple of packs here a little bit slower. And then uh, we'll kind of just stop on the really good stuff. So we have a Veiling Oddity, a Simeon Spirit Guide in the common slot. So that's nice to see. It's good that thing that that's back. That's always a popular one in modern for sure. A Coral Trickster, a Pit Keeper. All right, we have a Green Seeker. And then a Blight Speaker. Good old Popper card there. A Dead and Gone. All right. We have a Prismatic Lens, a Bound in Silence. A seal of primordium and might of old Carasso. So, so good old fashioned uh, infect card there. I played a lot of infect back in the day, and this card can end games, that is for sure. Salt Crested Step, a haze of rage, and our first rare is a Sarah Avenger. Okay, so kicking things off with a Sarah Avenger. And then we have an Arcades the Strategist in that good old fashioned border. And from what I understand, you get one of these sort of old border reprints in every single pack. So we're kicking things off there with an Arcades, the Strategist. Pretty cool old border card to start things out with. I believe he was always kind of a mythic, and it's hard to tell with these because they have the you know time shifted type uh, purpley kind of logo. I think that's going to be on all of them, but we will see. All right, pack number two. Yeah, I'll be honest. I mean, I looked at a lot of the spoilers. Um, but I'm not really 100% uh, up and up on this set in terms of exactly what's in here. So I may get some big surprises and we will see what these packs look like. There's a gem hide sliver. So that's always a really big seller that ends up in a lot of decks. Another dead and gone there. Okay. Banalish Calvary. All right, getting into the uncommons. We have a Calciform Pools. Okay, a Cross and Grip. So again, there's another big uh, commander card. Really popular card for sure. A Bonded Fetch. And then we have a Karavek the Merciless. So the second rare. And we have an awesome looking old school Mortify as our second old bordered card. Sapperling token. All right, so we'll start picking things up here a little bit. I'll just stop if we see something really cool. We got a lot of packs to go through here, so. Okay. Getting into the uncommons, fungal reaches, a lightning axe, so that's another good one. This wasn't meant to be drafted, right? Keen sense, this card used to be worth a fair bit of money. And then we have a reiterate, so that's another one that's always kind of in high demand. It's good old buyback, three mana, you can copy target instant or sorcery spell. Of course, you can choose new targets for the copy. And we have a blighted woodland as our sort of throwback looking card there. A foil, faceless, a devourer, we'll put that up there. Assembly worker. Okay. So yeah, thanks again, Robert, for this. We really appreciate it. We've got a bunch of sponsored videos coming up. Actually, Robert sponsored a couple of boxes. So really awesome. And then we got another one coming from Kyle. We'll kind of do that in the middle of Robert's two boxes there. Keep a little bit of uh, suspense going for Robert. Scrib Ranger. All right. And our rare is a Nether Trader. Okay, that was a high value card. So Kind of wondering what the prices are going to be on some of this stuff after this. A Johnny's Pride made in that old border classic type look. Yeah, I mean, it'd probably be the typical thing, right? We got big reprint set, master set, prices kind of take a nosedive for a little bit, and then uh, everything eventually recovers, sort of given some time. Okay, Storm Entity, a Rebuff the Wicked, and then we have a Jiora of Getu. Okay, and a Brawl Chief of Compliance. Man, that looks cool, eh? I think he was, what, from like Kaladesh, I think Kaladesh Block, right? Um, so yeah, it's cool to see uh, an old treatment for a good old Brawl there. 
These packs are nice and easy to open. Snack pack is a good spell to have, uh, I think twice again too. Okay, so that's really good. Lots of good cards in the common and uncommon slot, it would seem, so far. Molten Slag Heap. We have a Riptide Pilferer. A Dune Rider Outlaw and a Fencer Shaper Savant. So another good card there. Congratulations, Robert. That's a really good one. And an Exquisite Firecraft in Old Border Treatment. Cloud a Sprite token. Okay. Yeah, the packs are nice and easy to open. That's good, because in the last few sets, they've been a bit of a challenge. Of course, it could be the operator. All right, then we have Delay, another good one. Might Sliver, Dusk Rider, a Peregrine, and then a Boom and Bust as the rare. Okay. Then we have Farseek. Man, does that look cool. Ooh, I like that. That looks cool. I, I really want one of these for my commander deck. All right, and then a Wrathy Trapper foil. Yeah, man, that Farseek, holy smokes, that is amazing looking. I do like the old board of treatment on some of these cards, that's for sure. Some of them are a little wonky, so some of the newer stuff in old border sort of look. Grape Shot as well, okay. But, uh, but that, man, that Farseek, wow, I'm impressed. Okay, Utopian Micon, so there's another uh, classic popular card. We have a Brine Elemental, all right, and a Swarm Yard. That's a good one. These were hard to get. I think they were only ever reprint or printed in Time Spiral, so nice to see them back. And then Old Border Ponder. So again, that looks pretty sweet. And we have a Summoner's Pack Foil Rare. Good for you, Robert. That's a good one. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations. That's really good. Okay. Summoner's Pack is always a uh, always high demand type card for sure. Used in multiple formats, right? Okay. Where are we here? Return to Dust. So I figured that'd be in here since I saw a crossing grip. Then we have a Harmonic Sliver. Okay. An Imperious Soar. And a Tarmogoyf. One after another. Summoner's Pack in the last pack in foil. And in this pack, boom, there it is. A Tarmogoyf. Congratulations. Really nice. Followed by a Beast Whisperer in the Old Border Treatment. Okay. Good for you, Robert. Congratulations. He's definitely going to be kind of one of the bigger hits in this set, I'm sure. I know Chalice of the Void is in here too, so that's obviously a big one as well. But man, they've reprinted Tarmogoyf a few times now, eh? I think they can give him a little bit of a break, but it looks cool with the old original sort of future sight art there, but on the new border. That looks really neat. Okay. Yeah, I think like I was saying, they could, uh, Necrotic Sliver is another good one. Miri of the Cursed. And then we have Slimefoot the Stowaway, another newer type card with Old Border Treatment. And a psychotic looking, I don't know, drugged out, cracked out goblin. Okay. Yeah, um, like I was saying there, Tarmogoyf. Uh, I think we can give him a break now. Price is really nose dive on that guy, and that's fine. I mean, it's good to have uh, cheaper cards if, you, if you're looking at picking them up. But we've had a lot of printings of Tarmogoyf, so... And he's just not really seeing that much play anymore. Okay, Glittering Wish in the rare slot. And then we have a Tassiger, the Golden Fang. So that looks also pretty nice with the old border. Popular Commander, right? Popular Commander and Popular in Commander. So last pack, first stack here. Okay. Reality Acid. Yeah, tons of slivers definitely in this set. Okay, there's Rift Bolt. So that's obviously a good one. Good old modern burn card, right? Gem HUD Sliver. There's Harmonize. Shiv and Meteor. And we have a Core Dirge. And a Dryad Arbor. I had a feeling that was going to be in here. Mm-hmm. I bet you can almost make Dryad Arbor. But you can all, and the Ancient Den. That looks cool. Okay. Good old Artifact Lands. Bet you can almost make an Infect deck out of what's in here. I guess we will see. Okay, Sting Scourger. All right, boy, it would be fun to draft this set. I mean, unfortunately, we're kind of still in the same situation up here. Can't really draft yet. Cloud Key. All right, there's another one. That's another popular one. Abrupt Decay in Old Border. Wow, that looks cool. All right, Abrupt Decay. Classic removal there in the Golgari colors. Gets played also in multiple formats. Yeah, we can't draft up here, but boy, oh boy, this would have been fun to draft, I can tell already. 
man, it's cool stuff in here. And it would be fun, uh, you know, just to have that sort of old feel with all these old cards drafting. Yeah, that would have been cool. Okay, Sliver Smith, and then we have Ith High Arcanist. Ith High Arcanist. A Tharbin, or Thrabin Inspector. Good old uh, Modern Humans card. There we go. Thraben Inspector. And we have a Foil Sunlance. Okay. So, well, that's a cool looking soldier, isn't it? It's like the Apocalypse Soldier. Post apocalyptic. I like it. Okay. So, yeah, why don't you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking of this set? You're going to be buying Time Spiral? It's a bit. Uh, we did get allocated. Not cra crazy allocated in my store. Rip Bolt. Not crazy allocated. Like, I, I got a fair amount, but uh, I would have definitely taken more had I had the opportunity. We're pretty much almost sold out, like pre sold out. I have a couple of boxes. There's an Urborg. Always nice to see that. These are super popular in Commander. So yes, definitely uh, nice to have Urborg. And then an Old Border a Treasure Cruise. So again, pretty cool looking card there. Okay, we got an Ape token. Is that Ape or is that Kong? Kind of looks like Kong there. Um, yeah, I didn't get crazy allocated, but like I was saying there, I definitely would have taken a lot more. I think I maybe have like... Like under five boxes left by the time I fill out all my pre-orders. So I'm really happy to say that everybody, including you, Robert, will be getting the promo Lotus Bloom. If you guys didn't see that, I did do a video on that. Uh, I'll put that up there. You can check that out. You have a good look at that. Big Game Hunter. I, I, I played this a lot in Sideboard in Modern. And no one sees this guy coming. He's, he's solid. And there we have a non-foil summoner's pack. So we had a foil summoner's pack and a non-foil in the same box. It's pretty good. And a Talran, the Sky Summoner, Old Border Treatment. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Um, there's a really wicked looking uh, Old Border Lotus Bloom that hopefully you can get your hands on. We got like 20 of them up here. So first 20 boxes I sold, everybody is getting one as a buy a box promo. And like I was saying, that includes you, Robert. Okay, Mystical Teachings. And then we have a Kerr Keep. Okay, and then an Ancient Stirrings, there we go. That looks pretty sweet. Another uh, popular Tron card there. And a Foil Yavimaya Dryad, okay. Metallic Sliver, man. Looks like Aliens, doesn't it? I get that sort of Aliens feel there with the tunnel and everything behind them. Okay, continuing on. All right, Needle Peak Spider, hmm. I don't know. Can't remember saying I assassinate. Okay. Another rift bolt. Lots of rift bolts in here so far. There's going to be a lot of supply of those out there, that's for sure. Dread Return. And then Magus of the Future. Okay. This guy's three a blue pips and two for a 2 3 human wizard. You play with the top card of your library revealed, and you make play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. Pretty solid. Definitely for EDH. Stinkweed Imp. Cloud Sprite Token. Okay, man, this I can tell right now, this would have been a really fun set to draft. I really hope you guys are getting the opportunity to do that wherever you may be. And if you did, and there's another Harmonize, please let me know in the comments below. I want to hear how it worked out. Expita or extrapate, extrapate, there we go. Okay, good old classic sort of, uh, it's got like that... Um, uh, what's that card? Jeez. Anyway. Okay, so there's another card that's similar where that has the Phyrexian man. I just can't think. Hollow one. All right. Can't think of it offhand. The Fathom Seeker. I'm sure it will come to me in like five minutes later in the video. But yeah, that's basically the not Phyrexian mana split second version. Okay. I'm sure all you guys will let me know in the comments below what card I was thinking about. Smallpox. Knight of the Holy Animbus. And then we have Conflagrate, it's another good one. A Porphyry Nodes, Porphyry Nodes. Nature's Claim in the Old Border. So that's good sort of sideboard uh, removal, especially in, uh, in Tron for Modern. I always ran a couple Nature's Claim in the sideboard of my Modern Tron deck. Because Tron does not give a hoot about what your life total is. Eventually it's going to be zero, or you're just gonna quit because I restart the game with like all your stuff. So yeah, Nature's Claim's perfect sort of removal uh, ways, good ways to deal with artifacts and enchantments anyway, 
for Tron. Cloudseeker Angel of Salvation. Then we have an Ever Flowing. That looks nice. I actually really like that. Another popular sort of mana rock for Commander, right? Ever Flowing Chalice. I like that. And then we have a. Wow! Okay. So we have a Goblin Engineer Foil Old Border. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. I'm not even sure what this guy does. So two mana for a 1-2 is a Goblin Artificer. When Goblin Engineer enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. You can pay one and tap them, sacrifice an artifact, return target artifact with CMC 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I'm sure there is some uses for him, and that is a cool looking old border foil. All right. I'm going to have to stop and reset the camera momentarily, so I'll do that after we do this pack. Okay, here we go. We have a Lanwar Mentor, an Urzus Factory, a Time Bender, and a Hyper Genesis. Why are they reprinting this card? It's not even legal in modern. Does, that, does this get played anywhere? Let me know in the comments below. I, I feel like this doesn't really get played anywhere. It's good old suspend three for two green and one. Starting with you, each player may put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card from their hand onto the battlefield. Repeat this process until no one puts a card onto the battlefield. Yeah, you used to be able to sort of cheat this out and then like play really nasty bomb stuff and they kind of banned that. Uh, Eternal Witness in the old border. I like the look of that as well. All right, so just going to stop the camera. Uh, nothing's going to move and then uh, restart the camera. And we're back. All right, continuing on. Yeah, so like I was saying about that hypergenesis, I'm a little bit surprised to see something like that reprinted. I'm, I'm not sure that's getting played anywhere. Maybe it's like Legacy or something. Um, okay, here we go. Cordurge, Cryptic, and was something, something, Rough and Tumble. Okay, and then we have a Thelonite Hermit as a rare. All saplings get plus one, plus one. Okay, it's an elf though. And then a Sylvan Scrying with the old border treatment. That is really neat. Man, oh man, there's a lot of Tron pieces in here. Okay, Sylvan Scrying, and then the Crazed Out Goblin token again. Last pack, a second stack. Starting off with snapback. I've had that on the top a few times. I feel like that anyway. Okay, here we go. Stone Cloaker. Okay. And then we have a Firewake Sliver, a Skittering a Monstrosity. All right, and we have a Coalition Relic. Another solid card. Of course, there's lots of good commander stuff in here, right? Okay. And then a Vanquisher's Banner. Wow, I was just saying. Another good commander card. I mean, of course that's good in any tribal deck, but yeah, this, is my, this card's really been going up a lot too. And then we have a Foil, a Dirkwood, a Balith, and a Cobalt token. Okay. On to the last stack. I think this has been a solid box. It feels like it has. I don't know. I mean, we got the Tarmogoyf, right? That Foil um, Summoner's Pack sweet too. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. And we have a Brine Elemental, a Premature Burial, that would suck, Stormfront Riders, and we have Vesuva. Okay, so here's another one. This is a solid card, man. It's a good card to be getting. Okay, we seem like we're doing okay with the Mythics R8 too. We have Vesuva into the battlefield, tapped as a copy of any land on the battlefield. Okay, solid. And then we have a Bedlam a Reveler and an Assembly Worker token. Okay, the Suva, yeah, that's a good, that's, that's definitely a good include in this set. I like it. I like this set so far. This throws me back because like I was playing around this time too, right? So um, really sweet to be seeing all of these cards again. Brings back a lot of memories for sure. Walk the Aeons. And then we have a Grenzo and Dungeon Warden. Okay. And we have a foil, a fury, a sliver, and a knight token. I really do like the art on these tokens too. Really dark kind of feels to these. Okay. I'm going to straighten out Robert's piles a little bit here. Okay. As always, my piles are a disaster. There we go. Okay. Continuing. Mm, Mog War Marshal. Lots of goblins in here. The good ones too, right? Like I play most of these in my 
Rakdos Modern Goblin deck. Man, I miss playing Modern. I really do hope it makes a big comeback when we can all play again. Here we have a Vesuvan Shapeshifter. Okay, and then we have a Tide... Man, that looks nice with the gold border, eh? I like that. Tide Total Sculler. Sapperling. Yeah, I, I do hope that Modern makes a comeback. I, I really do. When we can all start playing again. Because... I've been saying this in some of my finance videos. I do a weekly finance video on this channel, right? And I've been saying that in some of my, my finance videos. A lot of people talking about Modern in the store and I ask them, what are you going to play when, when we can play again? Most of them, a lot of, the, a lot of people, the first word out of their mouth is Modern. Angel's Grace. All right, that's a, you don't lose the game, right? Yes, you don't lose the game for one mana a split second. And a Manifold Key. So yeah, a lot of people uh, anxious to be playing Modern again. And I, you can count me in amongst those people. I have a lot of awesome, you know, classic modern decks. In fact, Tron, you know, uh, Rakdos Goblins, uh, Just Guy Control. So yeah, I've been playing a modern for a lot of years and I'm really, really would love to be playing and sitting uh, at the tournament level and playing again. Akuma Angel of Fury. Okay. Yeah, that's another one that's had quite a few reprints. Okay, and she's in the mythic slot. Then we have a Disdainful Stroke. And a foil, a Jodas Avenger. Okay. Lanwar Elves. Uh, I'm going to seem silly, but what makes Lanwar Elves token? Lanwar Tribe or something, maybe? I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. It's kind of neat to have a Lanwar Elves a token. Yeah, maybe it's Lanwar Tribe or something. I don't know. Something obviously makes Lanwar Elves tokens. Whip Spine Drake, a sudden death. What's this? Oh, split second. Yeah, split second was huge in that block, right? If that was a mechanic from that block. Target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn for three mana. Okay, that's actually not a terrible remover. I mean, Gregor, Greater Gargadon. Lots of combo decks with him. Another Master of the Pearl Trident. I think we already had him, didn't we? Let's have a quick look. I mean, I'm sure there's only X number of cards that are in these sort of old slot. So, I guess, oh no, we had Tower in the Sky Summoner. Okay, that's supposed to be what I was thinking of. Yep, okay. So, I'm sure there's probably only a certain number of these you can get. And there will probably be a fair bit of a repetition. Okay. Here we go, Fury Sliver. We got a Harmonic Sliver. This is definitely the Sliver Pack. I saw a couple in the comments, too. Faceless Devour, Heartwood Storyteller, good old Tree Folk. Yeah, okay, he's actually quite popular. And then we have a leveler. Man, that looks neat, eh? And we got that just built a leveler commander deck. Foil extirpate. Okay, so there's another good one. Okay, we had an extirpate and then a foil extirpate. Seems to be the repetition is real in the foil and non-foil slots. Okay, there we go. Yeah, tons of slivers in these packs, man. You could definitely go slivers, I think, if you were drafting. Of course, it's one of those that you'd probably do it and the guy across, sitting across the table from you like four packs away is also doing it and neither one of you are going to make a good deck, right? Magus of the Moon. Non-basic lands or mountain. The good old blood moon on a stick. Okay, there we go. Another Brawl, Chief of Compliance. So we definitely had Brawl. So that's a couple of those. Yeah, I think there might only be... I, I feel like there's under 100. Maybe I, the number 63 is in my head, but that might not be right. But I believe there's under 100 of different possible um, old border cards. So I think there will be a fair bit of repetition in that slot. We have Wipe Away, a Lightning Axe, another Keen Sense, and then a Slaughter Pack. So I'm assuming all of the packs are in here. I believe that's probably accurate since we've seen um, Slaughter Pact and uh, the green one. A Monastery a Swift Spear, Old Border. Pretty cool looking. Yeah, there's definitely people who are going to want like four of these, right? For like their modern sort of uh, prowess decks and stuff like that. I can see that for sure. They will be uh, sought after, many of these sort of old border looking cards. It's kind of one of those things that you kind of want to make most of your deck look like that though, or it just looks funny if you have like Monastery Swiss Spears and everything else looks new. Uh, Imperious Soar, and then we have Hive Stone. Okay, I believe that's just jank. Two mana for uh, creatures you control are slivers in addition to their other creature types. Okay, maybe for Sliver Tribal. Sorcerer's a Spyglass in the old border, and then a Spider Token, 2-4 Reach Spider. I think they all 2-4 Reaches, most of them seem to be. Okay, a couple of packs left to go. I think you had a pretty good box, Robert, so congratulations. I hope you are happy with it. There's an Aven Mind Sensor 
in the uncommon slot. Really nice. Good solid card for uncommon as well. It's the first one I've seen of those. Pendlehaven Elder, and then we have a Tomb Stalker. Good old fashioned, a huge demon. A Thought Seize. Nice. Thought Seize with the old border. So that's the Lorwyn art. Man, that looks cool. Congratulations, Robert. That is definitely a good hit there. Okay. Man, it'd be cool to get a foil one of those, eh? Wow. Okay. Uh, and then we have an Icker Slick in foil and the Goblin again. Last pack. All right. I think this was a good box. I do hope you are happy. And thanks again, Robert, for sponsoring this video. We'll be doing a couple more over the course of the next couple of days. So if you guys are interested in seeing more, Time Spiral Remastered opening. Street Wraith in the Uncommons, okay. Tolaria West, so there's another, another solid card. Good old uh, Transmute, right? Tap to add one blue, enter the battlefield tap, but of course you can transmute it. So another another mechanic that was uh, you know popular in that block. Zulaport Cutthroat, all right. As I was saying, a couple more videos to go for sponsored videos. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you check it out. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.